Hello and welcome to Mr. Ridley's Design and Technology. In this clip, I'm going to show you how to use Techsoft Design V3 to create a simple key fob or key tab that can be laser cut. Okay, let's get started. To open Techsoft Design, what we need to do is click down here on the Windows Start button and scroll through and find Techsoft Design Tools. If we click on that, we can see Techsoft Design V3 and Techsoft Design Tutorials. If we click on Techsoft Design V3 and we'll have a screen to click through there and then that will open Techsoft Design V3 software. Um, we've got a license there which we click through and then we've got a kind of home screen. Here we've got a toolbar this side, uh, we've got the, the actual paper where we're working on and we've got a toolbar this side. If we look at this um, toolbar here and go to shapes and pick a rectangle, we draw a rectangle, we can see that it just draws onto the paper. Um, if we undo that, and if we click this tab here for grid lock, then when we draw a rectangle, it will click or snap to the grid that we have. So I'm just gonna undo that and show you that again. I'm gonna click on shapes, and draw a rectangle of any size. I'm going to zoom in there. I'm using my mouse wheel to zoom in. And the next thing we're going to do is click on a circle. And this is for the hole for our key fob. We can draw a circle any size and click on it. And we've drawn that and it snaps the grid so it's slightly too large. So what we're going to do is click on the select. Select and when we select it's highlighted with these yellow squares. Then we can go down here to the bottom left hand corner, properties, and change the radius from 10 millimeters to 5 millimeters. If we click update and OK, we've changed that to a size that we can use. And then we can move it up there and it will snap to the grid, and there we've got the hole for our key fold. The next tool we're going to use, still up here, we're going to move along here to arcs and we're going to hold the button down and move right along here to this one, which is draw a filleted arc. If we click on that and we've got 10 millimeters, and we click OK, and what this will do, will when we click on that line, click on that line, click on that line, there, 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 and there. And what that's done is give us a 10 millimeter radius on each of those corners. The last thing we're going to do is add our name. So we're going to click on the lettering and then click where we want the lettering to go. We then type in a name and click OK. We can then use the select tool to highlight that and move it to there. If we want to, we can use select, highlight our text, go back to properties here, settings, and we can change the font. So you can see a whole bunch of fonts there. I'm just going to use the next one down and click OK, and click OK, and there I change my font. I can move that round there, and there we have the key fob. And last of all, what we can do is we can change, if we collect this and we select line color, and just change the line there to red, and the line color there to red, Now we've changed the two line colors to red. These lines will be cut lines. This will be an engraved line. We can then select the whole thing. We can use this tool at the top here to group. And that just makes sure it's a group. And we can make it down to a more, um, once we've finished working on it, move to a better size for a key fob. 
and there we have our key fob drawn on 2D, uh, drawn in uh, TechSoft V3, ready to laser cut. Thank you for watching Mr. Ridley's Design and Technology.